You know, we always enjoy watching the launch of a new cruise ship. Uh, once it's built at Chesapeake Shipbuilding in Salisbury, I'm sure you've seen that. We've shown it to you. It takes a lot of skilled workers to be able to build those vessels. And those skills allow workers to make competitive salaries. Did you know that many of them get those skills even before they graduate high school through career and technical education, or CTE? And I would like to introduce to you this afternoon who we're talking to about that. The three Lower Shore School Superintendents joining us, Dr. John Gaddis, who is Superintendent of Somerset Public Schools, Dr. Donna Hanlon, Superintendent of Wicomico P County Public Schools, and Mr. Lou Taylor, Superintendent of Worcester County Public Schools. Thank you guys so much for joining us this evening. Dr. Gaddis, what would you say to parents to try to get them to seriously consider a career and technical education course for, for their son or for their daughter? Well, I, I think the first thing that we do say to parents is sit down and talk with your child. Find out what it is your child wants to do as they matriculate through the school system. And so uh, a lot of our students have heard college and career and, and college is not an option because of the financial burden. So career and technology education is a way for them to be able to uh, receive skills, certification, and go right to work. And so our big, our big idea is to have a conversation, come visit the school, be exposed to CTE. And then we also say to them, have you, have you had to call a plumber or an electrician lately? And have you had to pay that bill? There are good wages and there are a lot of jobs that are available. Okay, so um, you mentioned plumbing, you mentioned uh, uh, electrical. Um, I'm sure you try to get as, into as many fields as you possibly can. What are the unique programs that you have at Somerset Tech that students and parents might not be aware of? One of our programs that really stands out is our biomed and our project lead the way pre-engineering. Um, and, and while those are academic, they're very hands-on. But one of the programs that really has done well, actually, a lot of our trades programs really still are doing well. They have high enrollment. So construction, masonry, HVAC, and a program new to Somerset, and one that we're very excited about is our medium heavy truck, which is the diesel program. So everyone's used to the automotive, but the diesel is something, especially in Somerset, with the amount of marine engines, farmers, uh, and long haul companies in the county, it's something that parents are very excited about because the students, again, can go right to work after graduating with their certifications. There you go. Dr. Hannon, Hannon let, me, let me ask you, um, I'm sure it's been difficult with this pandemic and everything, trying to keep students engaged. Have you had to go to some unique methods to, to keep CTE students engaged during their virtual learning? Well, I think our students, our CTE students were some of the first that we thought about in terms of uh, those students who would have some challenges with um, receiving an education virtually. Um, so we immediately, when we started bringing small groups in, brought in, um, um, I think it was about 150 of our CTE students on Wednesday during our asynchronous day. And many of our students took advantage of that and worked with our teachers on that day and then took home with them tools or other resources in order to be able to work virtually with their teachers. The other thing that has been a, a big plus is that many of the resources that are being used now, textbooks, for example, in CTE are written and geared towards a virtual learning environment. So they include things like videos and simulations. So our, our teachers at our CTE program, as I'm sure are true for the other two counties with us today, are, um, are really have become very skilled at teaching in a virtual environment. And so um, I'm really, really proud of the work that has continued with CTE. Yeah, I guess so. Well, uh, Wicomico County has a great working relationship with uh, students shadowing employees at local businesses. Explain to me a little bit how that works. 
so we have, um, I think just generally the, the partnerships that we have with our industries and the community are really, really important because that's what it's all about with um, a, a number of our students who are going directly into the skilled trades profession after high school with finding uh, jobs, suitable jobs for them. But we have um, our PAC teams, our industry partners who we work with, who tell us um, who, who actually provide information for us that helps us um, determine the curriculum that students are gonna, gonna follow, that helps them determine what students actually need in order to be successful in, um, in the field. And part of that is, is job shadowing and internships. And it's a very, very critical part. So not only the partnerships, but also the experiences that they have with those partners experiences as well yeah dr hanlon thank you very much lou taylor is the superintendent of worcester county public schools uh, mr taylor explain uh well can you can you explain to parents why taking classes at worcester tech can benefit their sons or daughter even if they're thinking about going to college well first of all as we all know uh, some of the most high paying jobs now in the industry all over all over our counties and in our country are are through technical education um so if if a student is looking for that golden opportunity to walk into a job that makes quite a bit of money, um, even higher salaries for the most part than, than we hire teachers in our school systems. Uh, that's an option for our young people. Also, we all know, um, I think we've said it in several different ways, uh, many of our kids are outstanding uh, with their hands. And the, the number of programs that we all offer in Worcester County, we offer 29 different programs through our technical program. And, and so that gives parents several options for their children to look at as they're making those career oriented decisions. Uh, as we all do in all three of our counties, by the time a student reaches the ninth grade, um, we, we are far down the road with career options for, for young people. Uh, they start talking about those things now in elementary school with our with our students not only through the technical program but we have engineering programs we have biomedical mm -hmm. science engineering as dr gaddis and dr hanlon have explained we have ways that people uh, can graduate from our technical high schools with uh, certification and in nursing and cosmetology get their licensing mm -hmm. through our programs and uh, ready for the workforce the day they walk out of our schools so is there anything in particular that you offer to parents to get them to seriously consider career and technical education for their young person? Well, the one thing we do is through our guidance departments, uh, we communicate with our parents on a regular basis. We make sure that we get the proper information to our parents early on. Um, we also have open houses for our, our institutions, for parents and, and community to come in to see our programs. Uh, we bring our elementary kids uh, through our technical high school, um, fifth and sixth graders, sometimes we bring them through so they can start thinking at a young age. And certainly all of our schools, I know we all do this, our schools are open all the time to our community, to our parents to come in and observe what we do. Mr. Lou Taylor, superintendent of Worcester County Public Schools. Also, Dr. John Gaddis, superintendent of Somerset Public Schools, and Dr. Donna Hanlon, superintendent of Wicomico County Public Schools. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.